Hi, I'm Mike Becker. I'm with Grace Notes Automotive Team. Today I'm going to show you how we're personalizing the in-vehicle entertainment experience. Personalization means profiling who you are. We actually follow the activity of the listener. So what songs have they been listening to, when they've been listening to, time of day, day of week. There's other contextual information that also comes into play, whether it's the weather, the traffic, other vehicle inputs such as the speed. We know your taste in music. We also can profile the radio stations in your given region, and we can correlate the stations to which you actually like to listen to. If you're on a road trip, you're traveling between San Francisco and LA, for example, we would actually change those presets to the type of music you like to listen to. Why don't I show how we're redefining the radio experience. So here I am listening to radio station 105.3 from San Francisco and what we're doing is using our entourage automatic content recognition technology to identify the song. You can see from Dire Straits I can create a station or more like this. More like this will create a playlist from my local collection. Create a station will link us to the cloud. So what I'm doing now is using our Rhythm Music Discovery service to create a playlist, link to an online music service, and play that back. Personalization enables us to help you discover new music, whether it's from an online music service, it's rediscover music from your own library, and it also enables us to target advertising to that individual within a radio stream. Today, advertising typically targets a, a large demographic, and it's targeting by the station format, essentially. What we are able to do is we know a lot about the people or the occupants of the vehicle and are able to serve an ad that's targeted specifically to them. So what we're demonstrating is how mood really lends to navigating large music collections. So we're showing a couple different user interfaces, one which is a, a grid as well as one that shows sliders. And by sliding between calm and energetic, dark to positive, we're able to create playlists that have very similar sonic feel. People need mood-based playlisting because, frankly, there's a lot of content out there. Online music services have over 20 million songs. You've got large music collections on your own portable devices. And what this enables you to do is merge all these different sources and give you similar music to what you want to experience. So whether it's cool, it's energetic, it's aggressive, one touch gives you a, a very similar playlist. Grayson is very excited about how we're personalizing the in-vehicle entertainment experience.